Hey family, so I had to come back on. I don't want to wait. I can't say now that maybe, maybe something's coming. I know something's coming. An event is coming. And I just seen the 321 number. I was just trying to put this together and <sighs> popped up on the clock, you know, completely organic. Wasn't looking for it. And, um, and then I, I seen this before that, right this minute. Um, pop up in my notifications. So I'm going to do my best to try to explain this to you. Um, we've been talking about, I, I said in the last video, but if you didn't see it, it's okay. I'll explain it all in this one. Um, Pearl Harbor event. Three, two, one fiery kickoff event, Damascus event, all of these things are coming, okay, Damascus parallels with the fiery kickoff event, the Lord said so in the prophecy, he gave us a clue with that, but the first thing that happens is something to the United States naval ships, the Abraham Lincoln and the Ronald Reagan. That's the first event that was listed. Okay. Virginia Donovan, I said with Sharon yesterday. Well, I missed a video that she did today. I'm going to share that. But family... Immediately after uploading my last video, the Lord dropped a download of a song, and I'm going to share what I have found about it, and all the connections between, you know, everything the Lord's been showing us, and, and um, Virginia on her channel. Okay, so... She said, now, remember when this first started, she shared the brother that got the number 355, and I confirmed it, because the minute he said that number, I looked at the clock, and it was 553, which is 355 from right to left. I left a comment. I already shared all that. And then, okay, so... They discovered there's 355 Chinese naval ships and 296 United States naval ships. And these numbers are important. And I noticed, too, that Virginia is wearing a blue necklace, like, kind of like a sapphire. And the Lord gave me those three sapphires. I don't know if there's a connection, but we know there's no coincidence. Okay. Um... This was in Virginia's community. Word given to a brother in Christ on November 26. That November 26 has been a player on this channel through Sister Mustard Seed and others of you like I was sharing Sarah Starchild got a vision on um, 8-26. So that number 26, and it means God, too. But anyway, um, China is going to start the war. It will be deceptive. It will involve Taiwan. America will also be attacked. It is the beginning of the end. As I was receiving the above post, another confirmation came in from the brother who received the word. See below. 
So my cousin wrote me this. The voice I heard last week was X on tribulation. Exit on tribulation. They thought it was a date. Like X on a date. I instantly heard from the Lord. It is not a date, but a name. The president of China, Xi Jinping. X on the tribulation. Okay, so we know the people running the show over here are in cahoots. They're in bed with China. And, you know, man child's completely on point. I, Pearl Harbor was most likely a setup, just like everything else in this world. And the 911 event is going to be another one of those events. And part of the word, too, was the first nuke will be for you by you, United States. Meaning the U.S. is going to do it to itself or anybody that's new. That will be in Manhattan, but that's not the first event. So it's all one big setup from, you know, start to finish. And then next year, 2023, I believe, is when the 11-11 nuclear exchange, the big show, really kicks off because that's been prophesied too. All right. But, you know, they got to have stepping stones leading up to all of it, right? Now, um... This was also in her community page with November 26th. I just came back from my evening walk. I heard war is coming. Family, she had 212 likes, which is the New York Manhattan area code. We know there are no coincidences. Now, today she was sharing. Okay, so I got the 212, right? Which was on our word. Henry the helicopter. It's time to fly. Jesus is coming. But it also had the 321 kickoff for Manhattan. Okay. And it was confirmed by four of us. And the word was confirmed with Sister Mustard Seed. So these events are related. Raptures are related to this some some way. Okay. But it's looking like, you know, there's steps to this. Like, uh, the ships will happen first and then rapture and fiery kickoff. Okay. And Damascus, okay, is parallel to this. It all connects. Now, today she was sharing... Another post from the brother that got the 355. He found this movie called The 355. Okay. I seen the number 13 and the number 11. And you know, at first I was thinking 13 might have something to do with December 13th being a 40 day count from atonement. I don't know. But I'm just saying I've been seeing that number. I know that the brother who has given this believes it's the 355th day of the year, which is December 21st, the darkest day of the year, and the winter solstice, which is a high witchcraft day too. Okay, so it wouldn't be unlike them to plot something on that day. I went and I was watching the trailer and I seen the number 13 underneath it. It was PG-13, so the number 13 twice, and then I looked at the clock, and it was 1130, which is 113, that means Lord, and it's that 11 and 30 that we've been seeing, I've been getting, several of us have, and, you know, it's no coincidence that the 13th Warrior is underneath the trailer for this 355 movie. Right, I'm sorry, I thought I had another picture for the 355 movie, but the 355 movie is about um, World War Three. okay? So those were the connections, and it was released 
in 2022 family. I tell you what, big things are about to happen. I need to say this too, more reports are coming out about the grid going down in a lot of places. Um, you know, more of the same attacks on us, the citizens. None of this is, you know, accidental. It's all part of the plan. But remember, Sarah Hoffman seen this. Lights going out, the pox, and then, you know, the long winter of death comes and the power grid's completely off and you know the drill, y'all. Listen to the prophecy. But we go before it really kicks in. But, you know, her word is in progress to her vision. Many of these things are already in progress. Philip Barnett with the 11-11 war, it's in progress. You know, we're in it now. So, these things are coming. They're going to happen. And I don't mean we're in the, the judgments yet. <laughs> I'm not saying that in case anybody misunderstands me. I'm saying we're, we're there. Okay, we're getting ready to go in the rapture. And then those judgments are really going to start. We're just in the baby stuff now. But anyway, and it's bad enough, right? Wendy Fowler, I got a prophecy from the Lord two nights ago at 2.30 a.m. And God said, judgment is coming now. And America will receive a double portion of judgments. And it's starting now. Repent and accept Jesus Christ as soon as possible because time is up. Okay. Seeing the number 11 on her comment. At 8.55, right after uploading my video, this was the song that was downloaded from the Lord. You dropped a bomb on me. I seen the number 102, and I, had, I went to the video too. I've got lyrics and video to show you all the things I found. 102 in the subscribers for the pilgrims that was on the Mayflower. The number 13, the number 5, the number 30, the number 21, which is 777. This is what I found in the lyrics. For anyone that's new, recently, um, Sister Casey brought me Hebrews 11, 13 through 16 about the pilgrims and the Mayflower and the covenant with God that has been broken. And that is why it, it was signed on 11-11. And that is why the war, the nuclear exchange will happen on 11-11. That's why it's been prophesied for that day because the covenant's been broken. Broke, the broken covenant with God. That's why judgment really, you know, America gets a double portion. Be better not to have a covenant at all. Okay, so I won't forget it. And if you look there at all those eyes, they look like ones for 111, 11, 11, 1, and 11. And then one again in the I won't forget. So those numbers we've been seeing uh, for like a doorway. Count off positions for countdown. Seen those in it. And I won't forget it. Like breaking the covenant. You lit the fuse. I stand accused. You were the first for me. You dropped a bomb on me, baby. You dropped a bomb on me. Just like Adam and Eve, you said, or said you set me free. You took me to the sky. I'd never been so high. And we know we're looking to fly to family. 
right? We're looking to fly in the sky. At 8.55, the Hebrew is a plowshare, and when you go underneath, uh, it, it had a um, verse about turning plowshares into swords. And we're talking about a bomb being dropped. You dropped the bomb on me. Also, in the Greek, it means disappearing. And when you go underneath it, it had the scripture about the Lord ascending into the clouds. Okay? So clouds are in this too, and the Lord ascending in them. And, uh, you know, like I said, these events coincide with the rapture too, family. The Lord's been showing us rapture events related to these events. All right. This was in the video. You see a plane. Here's another plane dropping bombs. This is a picture of an explosion. More planes dropping more bombs. More planes. Kind of looks like from that Pearl Harbor movie, doesn't it? More planes. More planes. Now, I got to show you this. And it happened to be 911 on the clock, completely random. I told you that the United States has 296 naval ships. Right here, you can see I circled 296. It's also from uh, the Island Def Jam Music Group. And Pearl Harbor event happened on Hawaiian Island. Pearl Harbor, the island, right? 296. It was on January 8th. So the number 8 is there. You can see here where I had whited out the numbers so you could see the 296 more clear. The island, naval ships, 911-296. Again, the, the 212, New York, Manhattan area code. It's no coincidence that these words came out on November 26th, and that was a deadline with, with our sister Mustard Seed. And she was the one that helped confirm the 212. And also that the Lord is coming as part of the word with the kickoff event. They go, they go together. He's been showing us the whole time. And this is how we track it down. We track the prophecies. And that's how we know how close our Lord is. These events. Attack on the ships. Damascus. Kickoff. Rapture. Not necessarily, well, rapture, I think, is simultaneous or right before the kickoff. So somewhere like that from what the Lord's showing us with the order of it. But the ships come first. And given everything we're seeing here, family, there is no doubt. The Lord is showing us it is coming. You dropped the bomb on me. And I just showed you the correlations. And the numbers, you know, and rapture and plows shares into swords. War. So the 296 for the U.S. ships, you dropped the bomb on me. 355 for Chinese naval ships. Again, China's going to be involved. The Lord dropped this song, family. I just showed you all the connections. He used me to confirm this thing from the get-go. 
because he knew it correlated with the things he's been showing us on this channel and what this brother's seeing that Virginia's been sharing. And, um, you know, all the puzzle pieces. So, I'm sharing this tonight at 1 o'clock in the morning because if there's anything, emergency supplies, something y'all need, you know, to prep for, okay, like emergency situations, food, um, whatever it might be, medicines, cat food, dog food, um, your animals, whatever, it wouldn't be a bad idea to ask the Lord what to do. Because you know, and when an event like this happens, all hell's probably going to break loose, right? It's going to get a lot worse. So I would be asking the Lord what to do. Because we're running out of time here, I, I didn't want to wait. And I showed you, he, he showed me the 12th month three times. Three times he showed me the 12th month. I know it said Hebrew calendar, but that doesn't matter. There's no Greco-Roman calendar in Strong's Concordance. And this brother is pretty convinced it's in December. And... We know the events are close or the Lord wouldn't have been showing us to start with. Like I said, the original word was given in 2017. It was five years ago. And we know the seven years for plenty and seven years for famine. The judgments are getting ready to start right after we go. But, you know, this could be a last chance for people to get saved like you know this first event happening and then it caused people to wake up a little bit one last shaking before the rapture that's my logic for the for you know why the events are going the way they're going so we need to be looking keeping our eyes on all of this and uh, definitely pray and ask, seek the Lord on what, any, if anything you should do. Um, you know, they, these events might happen, boom, 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 like dominoes really quick. You know, I don't know all the details, but I know it's coming. I love you, family. God bless you. Good night.